Have you ever wanted to move data from JIRA through some kind of integration to some other system, perhaps a custom in-house system? Uh, you probably started by studying the JIRA API and found that it, it is really quite complex. It's suitable for complex integration, but it's really much more than anyone is looking for for simple integrations. The solution to that problem is XBM Query Feed for JIRA. You can add it right now to your JIRA Cloud instance with just a couple of clicks, and it will give you this new, much easier way to perform integration. Let's take a look at how it works. We, once we're administrating and configuring the add-on, we simply click Create New Feed. This gives us a screen where we can make a name for the feed. Now, I might realize from here, oh, I don't know any JQL. Well, that's okay. I probably just want to go to one of my projects. Here's just an example uh, project test data we have for the purpose of this demo. I might go in here and make a query. So I can use all of the full set of capabilities that JIRA offers for how I want to query my data. So here we go. Now I've used JIRA to make a nice JQL query. If I simply copy that, then I go to my add-ons. I have query feed installed. Let's try again, we'll make a new feed. So we will call this example query data feed. And now I will simply supply this already written JQL, which again, I didn't have to write. I was able to use Jira to make it for me. I can click the test button. This will confirm that it does return one issue. Now I think, oh, that's a lot of issues. You know, maybe I actually wanted to return a broader set of issues. So maybe I'll make the query a little simpler. And now I have 11 issues. Okay, next I have to pick what fields I want. Well, maybe I just want the issue key, and I want the summary, and I want to know who it's assigned to. So I just want a little bit of data. I don't want an overwhelming API, just a simple small amount of data. I can then press test again if I like, and I can see down here exactly what that data will look like in JSON form. And as you can see, uh, query feed produces very simple, very easy to understand, very easy to uh, to comprehend JSON data. It's fully flattened so that, for example, the assignee has both the idea of a user's name or key and the idea of their display name. And this is just flattened into a straight list of name value pairs for every issue that's returned. Now this looks good, so I will simply click Save. Back here at my list, I'll go back to my list of query feeds, and now I can see here it is not executed yet. That's because it does not execute instantly. But if I uh, refresh my page here, I should see that it has, see it now it has exported and now the data is available. Now, if I wanna see the data, this feed data link, I can bring this up in another tab and here is that exact JSON data. So to get up and running, all I really would need to do is copy this entire URL, which by the way has a, if you look at the very end, it has a security token included in the URL. You can read in our documentation why that's a reasonably safe thing to do for most situations. But you just take this URL and that's all you need. Now you can put this URL into some other system. That other system could query this data anytime and consume the updated data. Now there are just a few other extra bits here. So I could decide I want to invalidate all past links. And so now that old link will no longer work because it's been invalidated, right? So now I'd have to get a new link. So if you felt like maybe that first link had been compromised or been passed around too broadly, it's just a one click to make that old link no longer valid. And then one more bit, I could get in here and I have a few more options like clicking to get all of the fields if I wanted all of the fields. So if I just said, give me everything you have, then I can save there and if, I don't care. It might take slightly long to regenerate. By the way, I can spot here at 322. I'm recording this at 324, so it's not regenerated yet. But uh, if I wait a short time, look, now it has regenerated. I'll bring up the feed data again, and now I have all of the data that the system was able to extract from JIRA about those issues. Okay, so now you've seen a very quick tour of the basic capabilities query feed. This is a hopefully very easy to use tool to get up and running, shoveling your data about JIRA issues into some other system, either your, system, your own code or third-party code. I thank you for watching and encourage you to try out the software. Bye-bye.